Hey, hey, hey. Um, yeah, well, impromptu live here. I wasn't going to do this, and then I thought, nah, let's go ahead and do a quick live, and then I'll edit the video and we'll get it up to YouTube. Why am I doing a midday live? Well, the Maxis team will be doing a live feed at 1 p.m. Central Time. That's 1 p.m. Central Time. But I wanted to do a live stream real quick on the new the new Oasis pack the new courtyard Oasis kit so I went ahead and I mean it was five bucks so I had a spare five bucks laying around and so we're going to can you tell I wasn't actually ready for this all right so there we go um, if anybody's watching our live stream at the moment we are going to be going through the new uh, Sims 4 Courtyard, Courtyard Oasis kit just came down not 30 minutes ago. Went ahead and got it. I think it's kind of cute. I'm going to try to start doing these live feeds when these new kits and what have you hit the airways. Of course, if I can afford them. <laughs> Some of them are a little high. But we got it. So let's see what it does. Let's go ahead on in and um, let's make sure, yep, make sure we're loading the right game here. So what we're going to do is I'm just simply going to draw out a quick, um, a little, little quick floor here. We're going to go into Newcrest, seeing as how, well, obviously, I love testing Newcrest. Um, quick reminder, there's our challenge, and there's our daily bill that we'll be working on today at uh, 3 p.m. Central Time, but um, here at the Spastic Simmer, we will be watching the Mexus live feed that goes live. So let's slide right on into a little 30 by 30 here. And bring up my shortcut. So let's see what it looks like. Now, of course, I don't know if any of you are aware, but to get to the things that you just downloaded, you can go as soon as Sims gets to where it's not pissed off at me, which it does do on occasion. Hey, <laughs> go figure, right? So what we can do is um, we can go down here in our objects and show all, and then I'm going to come over here, and we're going to go. Like we have some weather. The wall. There we go. All right. So 
let's go back. And from the looks of it, our Courtyard Oasis kit is supposed to have, where did it go, where did it go? Advertisements, advertisements absolutely drive me bananas. Here we are. All right. So let's enlarge. And if you're wondering, I will admit, this is the first time I've ever done one of these. So hang with me if I appear just a little bit slow. What I'm not getting is why isn't it showing the Oasis kit? Let's see, this is all of the stuff that it's supposed to have in it. Uh, this is actually what it's supposed to look like. So. Give me just a moment to find out where the hell it went, because um, I feel real stupid now. Because all of this is supposed to show up in my kit area, but not a single damn one of them are showing up which is really going to irritate the hell out of me. Alright, so let's refresh that. And as you can tell, I was not ready for this impromptu go-live, but I probably should have been. Let's see. So where the hell is the kit? And why isn't it showing up? Oh boy, this is really going to not make me look good on a live stream. Alright, come on, kit. Check. Refresh this thing. I wonder. Surely I wouldn't have to do this on a kit. But I'm going to see. What comes up here? Show hidden objects. And that still doesn't show the new kit. Yes. Hi, Emily. Um, I'm trying out the new kit. Uh, just got it. Fim says it's installed. Um, so much of the content is in the build section. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's where I'm at. And I've selected kits. Uh, 
And the last time I looked at one of the new kits, I just simply went into the game and selected kits, and there they were. Press B on your keyboard. All right, B B brings me um, B brings up a wall. So I've got filtering kits. the ones with the stars there it is okay but where's all right am I off of my trolley or is this all that comes with the kit because I thought there was new floorboards uh, new flooring and looks like a new fence Yeah, I mean, I've got, um, I've got these guys, and let's see, we can, we can bring them out and lay them out. Oh, that's cute. I love the plant. We got the vase. A little service. Oh, look at the rug. I like the rug. And looks like we got us a little lamp. A little wall hanger. I'm just going to put it right there well it, let's see the new flooring is in the other area I'm trying to direct you to oh duh gee Wally So we got the okay. So here's here's the new floor. Thank you, Emily. Bless your heart. <laughs> All right. So there's the new floor. One of them. Okay. That's not one of the new ones. And then memory serves. We had some. Yep, we have new. We have new wall coverings. Okay, so that doesn't make any sense. Oh, got it. Okay, so these guys are just um, just basic colors there. Yeah, I really actually like the I love the floor. Absolutely love the rug. Let's see here. Back over here, show all. 
but yeah, I really like um, I like what they did. Now this is just absolutely cute. Really like that. Now one of the things they did show um, looks like they did a um, looks like they did a fountain. Looks like a star type star type fountain here. So let's go into fountains. And um, I'm not actually going to worry about a star type fountain. But let's put the promenade room with the fountain too. So there's a room. Oh, look. Alright. Nope, I don't. Nope. Dummy. That's, there it is. Alright, so let's turn this thing around here so we can see it. Oh, look at that, look at that. That's what I was looking for. Is that promenade fountain right there. Oh, that's beautiful. <coughs> That is absolutely gorgeous. So it looks like we've got um, looks like we've got some beans that I didn't see yet. Curtains, new windows. Okay, so yeah, I didn't see the new window. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, my computer probably didn't like it, but there you go. It'll get over it, right? <laughs> so let's slide back around over here real quick. I absolutely love these windows. Look at that. I love the color swatches. Gives you, um, gives you some more options on those color swatches there for those windows and you want to hear something funny <laughs> I was going to try to do a simulcast on uh, YouTube as well and uh, so I was going to do a YouTube live as well as Twitch and my Streamlabs OBS decided it didn't like me so um, I was already not ready when <laughs> when I decided to go with this thing. Um, we have just a few minutes before I'm going to switch over and simulcast the um, the um, the Sims live stream. I've got it pulled up over here and as soon as it comes up we're going to drop over in it and talk about what they've got going on over there. But I definitely wanted you guys to see the the new kit that came out. It, it, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I mean, it really is. Let's see. And you'll hear all kinds of badings and and messages and everything else going off in the background. I do apologize for that. Let's see here. But yes, I absolutely love this. Emily, thank you very much for your help there. This is the first time I've done an impromptu live for something new that's come out until I've had a chance to um, until I've had a chance to look at it. Oh, here's the oh, 
Ooh, ooh, I didn't see that. What other, got some other color swatches on that as well. Blue. Oh, that's nice. I can tell right now I'm going to be having some fun with this. This is really going to be nice. And I am definitely watching for their their live feed here in a minute and once they do I will of course switch over to that see let me pull this over here alright and minimize that alright So, um, thank you guys very much for watching that impromptu live feed. I think I'm going to switch on over here to the left-hand monitor so that we can keep an eye out for Inside Maxis, which is supposed to go live here in just a moment. Uh, you guys do feel free to join us over in Discord if you like. Hell, I don't even have any, I don't even have Discord turned on. Boy, I'm slipping today, guys. I am absolutely slipping today. Alright, voice channel. Okay. Alright, voice is connected. Okay, so Discord is open. And we're just about ready for the live feed for Inside Mexus. We'll make sure we go ahead and connect that to this one. And if anybody has any questions or whatever, they can't hear us. Uh, it's one of those days. Yeah. Yeah, I've received some pretty, um, I don't know, anxiety-causing news, I guess you could say over the last couple of days so I'm just kind of I'm, I'm just kind of reeling and hanging in there on that so let's go ahead and trip over to the left hand monitor and I'm going to go ahead and we're going to maximize this thing to full screen and I'm going to move my old bobblehead out of the way here Shrink that down a little bit. That way I don't look like a bobbing dog while they're trying to do their thing. But from the looks of it, it looks like my screen. Well, it looks like their chat has gone bananas. I'm kind of watching it here to see if, um, according to the website, they are supposed to be going live. And normally, they're usually pretty good. Ah. Uh, well, I saw a flicker. <laughs> yep, I saw a flicker. Okay. Yep, so I'm not seeing anything yet. Okay, somebody just said five minutes, yay. So, yeah, you know, Emily, I think it's just life, to be honest with you. I think just about the time you, uh, I think just about the time you think you've got it figured out, 
uh, Lions jumps up and says, Shwack him. Just smack him around. Refresh it. Mine is active, she says. Refreshing. Ah, right, we have sound. Four minutes, 27. We'll go ahead and bring up desktop audio. And I don't want to put this so loud that it blows everybody away. Hope that's not too loud. If nothing else I've learned in almost 60 years, I'm going to mute that because that music will absolutely drive me bananas. If nothing else I've learned in almost 60 years is life happens, the world turns, and the damn thing we can do about it except hang on and ride. That's just hang on and ride. Hey, you. Huh? Who? What? Hi, who snuck in in Discord? I can't see. Cindy. That's a Cindy Lou. That's a Cindy Lou and a who. Yep. Have we heard anything from our other wayward mods? No, I haven't heard any. Well, Sarah's working. Ah, Sarah's working. Do Doris go. Ah, Doris is doing what Doris does. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, you know, it, you know, just, just talking about life. I mean, hell, you just—I was raised on horseback, and Mama always said, when you get thrown, get off and get back on. And yes, I am always chatting, talking, typing, doing something. Looks like we got just under two minutes. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Huh? What do you expect your staff? What, what, what? You're always doing something. I am always doing something. Yes. It may not always be the right thing, but by God, I'm always doing something. Okay. Increase your mic on uh, turn your mic up. Okay. All right. Is that any uh, is that any better, or do I need to actually go into the system and up it just a bit? I want to make sure there's no echo. I don't hear any echo. Seems All to be right. okay. All right. Uh, Emily, folks, in Twitch, is that coming through okay in Twitch? Is it any better? A bit better. All right, let me pull up my filters here. Let's see. Alright, so I'm going to ease the gain up just a little bit and you, um, you guys tell me if that's any better. Try that, see if that's any better. Oh, here we go. 
to another Inside it Max series. I already know I'd like to see series where we get to share news directly with you about everything that's happening in the Sims universe. I'm Simcoe Kuxiku. I'm an associate quality designer for The Sims 4. Uh, and I am Grim Surudoy. I'm a designer on The Sims 4. And we too are going to be your hosts for today. Uh, so good yeah. morning out there to all you simmers. I was actually going to say, I was thinking about this earlier. I say good morning because I'm here in the Bay Area, uh, and it is we got one hour left of morning today. But you, where are you, Kuxiku? I'm actually located in Ireland. The sun is shining for once, which is a good <laughs> sign, I assume. Um, but yeah, it's like 7 p.m. over here. Uh, right, so yeah, your day is, is almost done. I'm um, almost done for today, yeah. <laughs> through the magic of technology, here we are together, live, coming at you with uh, with Inside Maxis across across the world. Yeah, and I hope you're all sitting in a comfy chair, uh, because we have a lot in store for you today. So before we get started, let's take a quick look at our agenda for today. You want to kick this off, Grim Surudoy? Yeah, uh, so uh, I'm... <laughs> because of the camera. I'm going to be looking this direction, but I swear I'm looking at the agenda, which is the other direction for you. Uh, we're in the introduction right now. This is It's happening. We're introducing ourselves. We're going to have a Courtyard Oasis walkthrough for you. We're going to uh, be able to spend some time with this, this beautiful new kit. Um, we're going to do a little behind the scenes. We're going to talk about how we design black hair color. Um, and then do you want to do you want to take finish it out with what we have in store yeah. for the 411? Uh yeah, exactly. We're going to talk hot topics. Uh, you you gave your feedback and let us know what we want, to, what we should talk about. So we're going to do that. Um, we're going to take another look at Summer of Sims, and we will have a next patch sneak peek. Yay! Oh yeah, yeah. I am excited. This is we got we got a, we got a big show. It's very exciting. There's a lot of stuff that uh, we we want to we want to show you and talk about. Um, so let's let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, we have first up our uh, our walkthrough, our look at our new Courtyard Oasis kit, and we have a few special guests joining us uh, for this. Uh, Ash and Vince. So let's see if they're ready and uh, can take us through this uh, this new kit with us. And then dive into the game. Uh, do I have Welcome, that? guys. There, is. there it is. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Ash. Hello, Vince. <laughs> how are you? Uh, do you want to introduce yourselves briefly? Tell us how you are associated with this gorgeous kit? Go. You go first. Okay. Um, hi, my name is Ashton. Um, I'm a producer on The Sims, and um, I do a lot of... Uh, the tagging for everything, and then uh, just little things here and there um, that makes my job amazing. Um, so I was really lucky to have a lot of access to these items and be able to play with them as a swimmer myself and um, really get to see the process. So, cool. and what about you, Vince? Hey, everybody. I'm Vince Jolly, and I'm an art director for The Sims 4. And uh, I had the great pleasure of uh, being the art director on this kit and working with some amazing artists, uh, concept artists and models uh, to put this together. And we're really excited to, to show it today. Um, I, I know you're excited. Nice. I'm so and excited. For everyone who doesn't know, like, uh, the, the Courtyard Oasis kit is live now, like, right now. So why are you still here? Like, why are you not playing? Like, it's just kidding, just kidding. Stay with us, we have more, but... After that, you should definitely go and play because honestly, like the architecture on this one is just gorgeous, isn't it? It is. I it love is. It. it is stunning. It is jaw dropping, right? Um, and we like. I I was just gonna say internally, we see a lot of things come through, and uh, sometimes we're working on um on different parts of different parts of the game. And I remember, uh, I'm not a huge builder um i try and build but i feel like my creations uh, come out they come out okay um, and so i remember seeing the pieces in this kit and being like oh that's very interesting and then i think the first time i saw it actually put together by someone with actual <laughs> building skills um i was it, i i i think my jaw literally dropped um i know that uh if you've if you've seen some of the um the stuff on the the website or if you've gone to origin um we've said that this kit 
was inspired by the Riyads of Morocco. I'm curious if uh, one of you, or, you know, a layman like me, could explain what uh, what a Riyadh is. Sure, yeah. A Riyadh is a, another name for a courtyard. A courtyard uh, in Morocco. You know, they're a peaceful, serene, and kind of open to the outdoor space, you know, usually furnished with a, like a, a large central fountain and a bunch of seating and soup lan lanterns and large plants. Um, and uh, you'll see here, as we're starting to uh, pan around in this space, it's the central area down the center of this building is considered the Riyadh. And uh, this place here in the corner is showcasing a bunch of the pieces um, that uh, make up of, uh, of this Riyadh. Oh, it's lovely. It's lo I want to go there and spend my holiday day there. Like, oh, <laughs> I crave <create> vacation. <laughs> Yeah, this, and this, this, sorry, Scott, go ahead. No, no, no. I was going to ask another question. I have is because I know this was uh, in again. We we take inspiration from so many places. Uh, this clearly inspired by a lot of kind of real world visuals and culture. How did you go about doing the research to kind of make sure we were nailing that? Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, <clears throat> myself and the concept artists uh, worked really closely with a, a consultant. Uh, from Celia Consulting, uh, her name is Rhonda, and uh, she was just a, a huge resource. And so we, we got together with her uh, every other day, going over what it is and what we wanted for this, uh, for this kit. We wanted, we wanted to make sure we were capitalizing on the best pieces possible for this kit. Um, so we did a ton of research, looking at videos, people doing walkthroughs of different uh, Riyadhs in Morocco. Uh, there's a lot of great footage out there, people, you know, traveling to these different places and, and filming it as they walk through. So we were taking a lot of notes of that, gathering a lot of photo reference, of course, and um, really picking out the pieces that we felt were the most authentic um, to the region. And, and again, you know, really leaning for her expertise to, to make sure we we're in that note. To look at those doors, like I mean, those doorways with the doors open, it's oh, it's, it's just lovely. I I I'm in awe here. <laughs> That's awesome. You can see here one of the uh, the archways and the front here. This is one of uh, three different styles that we have for the archways, and we have a couple different ways for you to build. The archways, you know, that's a real key feature that you see in um, Morocco is the the arabesque um, archways, and this one here is one that you'll actually see in quite a few um, different reels. Um, so we have uh, yeah three different shapes, and we got a bunch of different sizes, um, and also including the the doorways um, as well. Uh, so you can build these archways through um, a column system with spandrels. Um, or you can do it with like placing on which way itself. And we have a couple of different sizes that you can mix and match to to really capture uh, you know, the kind of room, the space you want to build. I think the tiling is worth noting too. They did a great job on yeah. making it all go together. So if you put different heights together um, for the archways, things like that, it goes really seamlessly. Yeah, that was. And I heard like, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to just say that, yeah, that, that was one of our huge goals was to really tap into the mosaic tile work, the beautiful tile work that you see in that region. And so we, we had to do a lot of planning in order to get all this stuff to uh, work together, get the scale of the tile working together with uh, all the different pieces. So from the floor up to the walls on the columns, the, the foundation pieces, the stairways, all of those pieces um, we, we built uh, to make sure that they all line up nicely with uh, with the mosaic tile work. And it was a great challenge, and uh, the team was phenomenal at doing that. You know, Shannon, Salo, Nina, Isabel, they were the, the four concept artists that we had working on this, and uh, just did a fantastic job. I was so proud of them. Mm -hmm. Of course, as we got into the movie, we, uh, we had... Uh, Anthony was our, our main modeling guy. He just wanted to do everything he possibly could to make this space beautiful. And uh, and I just want to throw some thanks out to Brand, you know, Sheila and Maddie. They just um, they really wanted to to make this come to life, and were so supportive of uh, making this uh, making this happen. So anyway, mm -hmm. it looks so great. Um, question: What about plants? Do we get new plants in with this? Kate as well. Like I think I saw something 
but all my life. Yeah. <laughs> right at the top of the stairway there. I didn't even plan that. I was just I was just taking a walk up the stairs. <laughs> we oh, can see some that. plants here too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you get a good, a good view of a couple of the new plants that we made for this. One of them you can see is actually built into the ground and the tile work up around the edge of that palm. Wow. And uh, mm -hmm. that's a common thing you'll see too, where they'll, they'll actually have these, these beautiful plants just growing right out of the ground and they build like a, a, a cement um, trim around it and then tile it to fit into the space. And so we wanted to, uh, you know, capture that for sure. And so we, you know, we built that a piece to add into this kit. And there's a nice little tidbit about the other one. Um, the grid Anthony, who he mentioned earlier, was amazing with this, um, making the grid footprint smaller so that it only considers the pot when you place it. So you can actually place this large plant mm -hmm. into smaller spaces, um, which is really nice it has the leaves that can just kind of be hanging over chairs or couches tables whatever um he did the same thing with the lantern as well that comes with the pack it's a standing um floor lantern and uh it's very easy to place yeah um there's one right there by the um by the easel there's one behind those chairs yes Oh, yeah. nice. So you can get them into saw, smaller spaces. I also saw a tea set there. Mm -hmm. You want to tell us a bit more about that? The tea set. The tea set is key to this kit because it is, you'll see this in every reout. And, you know, working with Rhonda, she's like, make sure you get a tea set in there. This is really <laughs> important that uh, you'll see. That's what you, you enjoy when you go up and sit in, in your riad is you have, uh, you have some tea. So uh, yeah, here you can see there's a, a tea set that we, we've got as a, a placeable item on uh, these different tables. And that table that it's on too is a, an authentic table that you'll see in a lot of spaces too with the, kind of a brass tone. Um, but yeah, you know, and uh, what is it? I think mint tea is the, the common tea that is, uh, is drank in Panaco. So yeah, make sure we capture that, that vibe. Nice. Uh, I also want to call out, I know that there was a lot of, when some of the early images came out, a lot of love for these wall lanterns as well, um, that kind of, uh, I love the the kind of the styling is a little bit different than these floor ones, but still, um, there are, um, they, they feel very much like a part of the space, but also at the same time, I know that I'm always looking for things that I can kind of place wherever, because like I said, I'm not a great builder, and so I'm looking for kind of very flexible uh lighting uh lighting is always i feel like my my nemesis when i come to the end of a build and these lanterns are great they feel like they they really add character to the space but also feel fairly flexible in terms of being able to use them in your builds yeah they minimize very well Absolutely. too so. this is a great shot of seeing the uh how the tile work yeah. around the windows and the the, the doorways the archways and stuff you know um was all designed to work together and so we had to measure that out and make sure that that size um, was the same across all these pieces mm -hmm. yeah, oh, it's interesting because, yeah when you see it all together it looks like it's just a room that's put together that's been tiled right just like kind of all at once but obviously in the sims right our players can kind of mix and match and be able to put these uh put these on uh put these on which, whichever was they want to so the inside That's a nice the thing too. They can like mix and match the tilings and um, some of the windows and doors. They all have a plain option as well. That's just various um, shades of stone. You'll see one of the things we really want to do to make the doorways feel like they're integrated into the walls is to have that tile wrap around the inside of the doorway. So we had to design that as well to make sure that that because that's what they, they, they do down there is they just tile all the way around. So we wanted to make sure that we, we, we captured that. And that, uh, again, was a lot of fun making sure we, we hit that. Yeah, and if you look at the archway on the inside, you can see the tiling together um, for the, how it just goes seamless. Anthony worked really hard to make sure that that archway um, looked really nice with the, you know, mm -hmm. and the limitations that we have. Yeah. And the lanterns, I believe both of them are off the grid. I know the standing one is. Very 
very cool. Would we be able yeah. to see some color swatches on those? Uh, yeah, on, wi on what things do you want me to hold on? Let me get out of tab um, camera here. It's going to pop a little bit. For sure, then... for sure, the couches. Like, I want to see the different pillows <laughs> and and the lanterns as well. Like, uh, okay. yeah. We added uh, a lot of color variants uh, on this, this kit. We had like 12 to 16 color variants of everything. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we were, we were just, uh, we couldn't stop. We we're so excited to just keep mixing and matching. You'll see some of these, like this sofa is a more traditional you know uh, pattern and colors that you see and then we have some other ones that are a little bit more um modern with large that down there you know. mm -hmm. oh, and even the tables good. there are more normal options and then some really bright variants too oh, that's so yeah. nice the tile around the base of the fountain you can change that up independent of the fountain too so you can Really customize the look of your. Interesting. So this, this fountain. Yeah. Oh. So, you can, so you can adjust it. <laughs> yeah, separate from the the piece around the base of, on the floor. We wanted to have that fit just perfectly on that mosaic tile, you know, centerpiece to make this a real beautiful uh, hero piece uh, in the center of your area. Look at that! Wow. Wow. Yeah. I'm I'm sure I'm just I... ruining things by just so <laughs> like. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this one looks okay, but um, yeah, are there are, are there any other uh, pieces that you definitely want me to bring up the the swatches on because uh, you think they're exciting or you wanna you wanna talk about them? Some beautiful. I remember seeing <laughs> lantern, everything, right? Yeah, everything the lanterns have beautiful yeah. ones. Oh yeah, there's some purple in there. There's blue and green. There's some silver. Um, Oh, yeah. And same with the tea set. It has um, a few more golden options, but then it also has a silver option. So, mm. and the table that it's seated on has some really bright options as well. Um, you have like a red, green, blue. The railings in between the pillars, you can you can color match those up too. Those all have their own colors. The vase is, uh, you see a vase in the space here. We got a bunch of different colors for the, for the large vase. Mm -hmm. I think there's one by the entrance. I want to say. <laughs> one here? Yeah. This blue one? It has some beautiful variants and Ooh. some simple ones too. Oh, yeah. Nice. The, uh, you see if you can that on that wall, that, you know, that tile that goes all the way to the ceiling. One of the things we want to do is to provide the player with some tile that they could place in their pool. If they want to build a pool, you know, um, a lot of our, our wall textures just have tile on the bottom half, but we want to make sure that we had some options to be able to tile them all the other side inside your pool as well. I think so that's actually in the pool too. Cool. Oh yes, there was a pool <laughs> on this right lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> that's good. In the that's, that's where I want to spend my summer. <laughs> it's in that pool. Yeah. <laughs> The trim on the floor, you can you can frame out how you want uh, your your trim to work on the floor too. There's like three different uh, tile tiling pieces that you can use so that you can trim out uh, all along the walls. You'll see like how it's it's trimmed out that really finish it out as opposed to just you know ending with the the crisscross tiling. And that that was something that we really wanted to do too, so that you can really make it feel like all these tiled areas were customly designed for the spaces. Right. And that's a platform right. trim as well. So we also received a platform trim that matches. So just so everyone really knows, um, you can download this lot from tomorrow from the gallery. It will be featured on the main menu. Um, you should also find it, I assume, in the Max's favorite section. But you launch the game, it's there, and you can download it. Um, that being said, uh, we are absolutely excited to see what you can create with this as well. So make sure to use hashtag Courtyard Oasis in the gallery when uploading your, your creations. I'm very excited to see what you can come up with. Uh, such a nice build.
Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I was going to say, sorry, I, I'm i sure I, I have something in the script I'm supposed to say, but I'm just like, yeah. I just want to spend all day looking at this. Um, yeah. It is, it is such a, a beautiful kit. It is such a beautiful set of, um, of things that go super well together, but also feel like i know that i've seen some of the stuff on our socials of people who are excited to use it in a couple of different neighborhoods uh, and a couple of their ideas for builds and i am equally excited to see uh what those look like on on our gallery when those hit but um but yeah this is uh this is, well, well done well job on this kit um and uh oh was there i know Vince, you had said earlier that there was some really cool stuff with the columns and spandrels. Is that something you feel like I have the ability as an amateur builder to show if you guide me through it? Or do you want to just look at some of the stuff in here? Or you can try. Let's see your let's check out your building skills. Let's see if we can do it. You're gonna need a All right. you're gonna need some space. All right. Let me put down a wall quickly. I can start with a wall, right? I'm just going to put it right yeah. out here, yeah. and then, and uh... and then let me grab one of these. Is that is that right? One of these spandrels. That's a spandrel. Um... Yeah. Or do you want me to here? So... I was going to put this down because I had played with this a little bit, and I had just been. Um... So these are the these are our two new spandrels, right? And one thing that I had. Dean, and I, I don't know if this is what you're talking about, but I was super impressed because I didn't even realize this was something <laughs> that our, our game could do. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a builder. Uh, is that right now, right, it looks like you have this wonderful design on it. Um, but I think depending on the length of it, it actually it like accommodates what you want the length to be and still makes it look great. Yep. Shannon planned that all out, got the spacing just right. So if you put columns right next to each other, it'll look it'll look appropriate in between that. If you go two units, three units, it will uh, it'll turn it off correctly in between. So you, you can you know really right. uh, if I yeah. Be, yeah, there you go. Oh uh, sorry. Oh I think we gotta move on. Uh, we still have some stuff to cover. Thank you so much, guys. Hold on, I'm gonna make this short. Pictures. I'm gonna make this short. I just want you to. Like, it's like if you, you make this short, look at. Inside you. <laughs> look at how that spandrel changes. Isn't that awesome? It's and then awesome. you make it like one. Yeah. It's got its own. Oh, it's it's just oh my it's, God. So cool. it's so cool. Okay, it's so that cool. Was Great. <laughs> Thank, Thank you guys so much. much okay. Thank you so much. Okie doke, I'm let's sorry. move on. That was, that was my fault. I was just <laughs> too, I was too excited. You were excited uh, and I'm excited too. I was That's very fine. excited. So next up we have behind the scenes, how we design black hair color. So we heard your feedback on the black hair color and that the one that we teased in our last Inside Maxis. So we figured why not give you all the glimpse into the creation of hair colors, specifically the black hair color. So for this purpose, we synced with the artists on our team and ask them how this actually works and what the process behind designing hair color looks like. And they pro provided us with some great insight. Uh, so you want to go ahead and take this? Sure, yeah, I'll try and explain uh, the best I can. Again, uh, I, I'm not an artist, but I, we got a really good explanation. Uh, and what happens is when we create hair color, we are actually adding all of that whole bunch of hair colors on top of a grayscale hair texture. And as each grayscale hair texture is hand painted individually, uh, when the color is applied, the final look can vary hair by hair and kind of color by color. Um, we have the ability to indiv individually uh, adjust a hair if it looks off. Um, but one of the, the kind of caveats to that is that we don't see that uh, what the hair looks like until it is in game. And so we can't kind of uh, diagnose that problem or adjust it until it's in game. And because we add those gradients manually across all the hairs and because of you know uh, how how far we are into the Sims 4 and how many hairs we have out there. Um, we'll sometimes miss some where the the combination of the color and the texture will just need those manual adjustments. 
So yeah, when you see black hair color that looks more gray than black, it's probably not intentional and it's technically a bug we can fix. So you may actually see that on other hair colors too. So if you see it, please go to HQ and submit a ticket or check if there is a ticket already to keep the workload a bit lower for our HQ heroes. Uh, but definitely let us know and uh, we, we will look at it. Um, sometimes we do also try to purposely create subtle differences in the hair. Um, the same color on different hairs could look different just because different hair textures reflect light differently, just like in real life, basically. Um, next up, we got Sims 411. Yeah. You want to take that? Well, I was gonna, yeah, I was just going to say, um, you might have seen while we were talking, like Paul threw uh, uh, some images of the hair up there, right? Um, that was yeah. a hair that we had, that the community had, had kind of seen and identified, and that was one of those instances where the the kind of the hair color, the combination of the black color, hair color on that texture was not intentional. It was something that we just kind of had had missed because it was one of this whole group of hairs um, that that combination didn't quite look right. And so we can go in, we can make that adjustment. You can see the update where it is more kind of that is the the intent that uh, that we had for that hair color and texture combination. Uh, and we can do that with all of our hairs, but we we need to kind of um, we need to know which ones right are are not quite meeting expectations. Um, yeah, okay, Sims 411. Uh, this is a, a regular segment, I think, on Inside Maxis at this point, right? And where we talk about uh, hot topics. We'll take a look at the summer of Sims that's coming up and uh, a sneaky little peek at what might be coming to uh, base game in our next patch. Uh, as always with our Sims 411, the recap for Sims 411 uh, can be found I think it'll be on Friday of this week. It'll be published to our blog and to our forums. So if you missed it, or if you uh, want just a, a reminder of what we talked about um, or, or, or something else to kind of like go through the text if it's easier for you to read it, um, that should be coming out post stream uh, later this week. Uh, and it'll be on our, on our blog and forums. So look out for that on, on Friday. Exactly. Nice. So let's start with the hot topics. So thank you everyone who participated in our feedback window on the forums. We received loads of great comments and constructive feedback. Also, thank you everyone for adhering to the golden rule. Um, we're bringing this to the stream. We're bringing to the stream a first batch of comments and questions. So we will start off with when will you add pronouns? Yes. Yeah, take uh... this one. Sure. Yeah, um, I'm super glad that we're, we're answering this question. This is a question that has been um, certainly been on the minds of the community. I've heard it a bunch. Um, when will you add pronouns? Uh, and I think to, to start off as an entire team, we would say that when it comes to representation, um, it's not a destination. Uh, it's a journey that we're all continuously working towards uh, across the board. And we've seen and read your comments regarding non-binary pronouns and their availability in game. We hear you. Um, at this time, we can't confirm anything in regards to timing. What we can say is that for a long time, our team has been evaluating ways to add gender neutral language while considering uh, how complex it would be to do so. So currently, we have been investigating uh, the changes needed, um, considering not only the size of our game, but the possibilities for all of our 18 supported languages to make sure that we do this work in the best way possible. This is super important to all of us, which means that we want to make sure that when we do it, we do it right. Um, we want to thank you for uh, your continued support of a truly representative environment in game. We are hopeful for the future. We look forward to sharing progress when we are able to, uh, as well as on our, our future plans for this aspect and, uh, and others uh, across the game as well. Um, speaking of sharing progress, I do want to show some concept art for a current work in progress design that we are looking to add into the game at a later patch. Uh, so. As you can see, we're pretty inspired uh, by Morocco right now. And while we don't have, I don't have a, a firm date of release for this item, we are super excited to support further representation in the base game this year uh, and beyond. Our next question that I think we got um, was, are there any plans to make new whims to add depth to sim personality? 
uh, I'm going to hit you with potentially the bad news first, and then we'll go to the good news. Uh, although we're not currently working on whims, it is a system we would like to revisit in the future. And we are now committing more time in our schedules uh, than, than ever before to free updates. And uh, we are starting, I think, to see, and I hope you are as well, the impact of that commitment um, with things like our skin tone updates, our trait improvements, and uh, bunk beds, to name a few. The next question under Hot Topics was, what factors does the team look at when, differenti when differentiating um, a game pack from an expansion pack? Well, we want to create the best new Sims experiences, first and foremost. Uh, and so we determine the best size pack to deliver the best experience in the best form. Um, there are a lot of factors that go into choosing pack size. Uh, for example, if a theme is better served with kind of a grand scope and vision, uh, it might take a bigger, broader expansion pack approach. Other times, we have a great theme and experience that can be made available to players uh, at a more affordable price point through a more focused game pack. Um, and yet other times we have a, a hyper-specific nuanced stuff pack or kit uh, that could be the perfect fit. And so for us, it's all about tailoring and pairing kind of the right sized experience to the right sized offering and, uh, and, and matching those up. Uh, we have a few more hot topics. Do you want to take, do you want to take the next couple? Sure, yeah. So the next question we have is when will you fix the hates children issue? So this is a very important topic for us. And as you might have noticed, it was already mentioned in the laundry list. So consent is for sure not something to play with. So we're updating the trade with the upcoming patch. And thank you all again for holding us accountable. It really means a lot for us that you gave us this feedback. Um, Next question is, is there potential for story progression in townies and NPCs? So for those who may not know, story progression is the concept of Sims beyond my active household having live moments without me initiating them. So there absolutely is potential for this at some point in the future. While we can't confirm any details at this time, we are definitely excited for the possibilities. Um, there were more questions and comments that we received from you, but there's unfortunately only so much that we can cover and address in this stream, but rest assured that we have them saved and we'll come back to more in the next Inside Maxis. I think that was it with that section, so let's move on to Summer of Is it time? Sims. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. <laughs> Summer of Sims, so let's see. Where is, yeah, where, 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 where are we going on this summer? This <laughs> uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna. You might have seen this. I think we we put this out on our socials yesterday. If you haven't, and this is the first time you're seeing it, very exciting. Uh, we're gonna expand your world with the Summer of Sims. Um, we're gonna. I gotta actually. Hold on, I gotta take off these sunglasses because it's actually it's hard to read the screen. <laughs> switch back to my normal glasses i <laughs> bring the graphic back up paul it's fine i'm good okay. <laughs> All right. so we're gonna we're gonna start with uh we're gonna courtyard and chill with a relaxing new kit that one i think you might have an idea what that one is <laughs> um we're also gonna snag a cool new career with a creative new game pack we're gonna Ooh, go yeah. big for pride at the virtual block party and more and... what else we have in the summer of sims and we rock out at the Sims event of the summer. What that's gonna be. Uh, ride three waves of base game updates and, oh my god, bond with nature in this charming new expansion pack. So, where will you take your summer of Sims? I'm excited. I put the sunglasses Me back too. on because I didn't have to read anything more from the yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to change out uh, for the next segment. But yeah, that's exciting. I'm oh, very yeah. excited for the summer of yeah. Sims. Um, 
I'm, I'm yeah. working on. We all need summer. a proper summer of Civs. I yes. <laughs> a hot, okay. a hot Civ summer is what we all what we all need after the year we've had. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So next topic, uh, patched sneak peek. What's coming? Yes. So we released Bunk Bats a while ago, and that was our first iteration. And now we want to show you some updates that we made. So let's jump into the game once more and see what's on deck for our bunk beds. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is this will be coming soon, coming soon nice. to uh, a Sims Four near you. I'm just gonna. Um, I had to I had to kind of like hop around in the game a little bit, and if you're not getting audio from my game, Paul, I think that's on me. So don't worry about it. You're not going to hear the game. That's okay. We don't need to hear it. We just need to see what's going on with bunk beds. So this is the bunk bed that you know and love in our corner right here. One bed on top of another. Um, but we can do a few new things now, a few new exciting things in uh, the in the upcoming update. So one thing is we can take this bed, and maybe what you don't like is you don't actually like the bunk beds just in this configuration. Maybe you actually want to throw this bed uh, over here. And put that perpendicular Ooh. to the top bunk. That's a new configuration um, that you can use there. Uh, maybe you want the kind of the the lofted bed, and you don't even need this bed. Let's throw this bed outside. We don't want it. Um, and let's take a look at what about this love seat? Let's uh, yeah. Now we can put that love seat right under there. And have yourself yeah. a lofted bed with a love seat that you can sit. Um, maybe you're. Uh, <laughs> You know, you're you're at home and you're not quite ready to go out yet. You don't have any friends, um, but that's okay. I mean, <laughs> it's I don't I didn't I didn't I didn't workshop this part of the script enough. I feel like that was very a, a downer. What I mean is, if you only have one chair, you can put that living you can put that living chair down there too. You can sit there all by your lonesome. That's fine. Sometimes you just want a place to sit and uh, and read all on your own. That's fine. Um, putting that living chair down there is another option. Um, Oh, what about what about this dresser over here? We can. Uh, oh yeah, <gasps> we can put a dresser oh underneath nice. the bed. Um, and you know, again, like our our uh, single beds. If you have this dresser and you say maybe I don't I don't quite like that configuration. I do like the dresser under there, but maybe you want a perpendicular. Also put mm. that dresser perpendicular to that top bunk and still use it just like that. Um, oh, I know one thing, I know one thing that if you are uh, in university or if you're a student, uh, you have a desk, right? And the desk under a lofted bed uh, is something that we see a lot of. That is also something you can now do. You can put that desk under there and use that desk while you have the bed on top. And much like our uh, dresser, if you would rather have it in this configuration, you can also turn it 90 degrees and just have it uh, perpendicular to that top. Uh, that's so awesome. So awesome. Um, a whole lot more options coming to you from your bunk beds. One last thing is maybe you have... Uh... Paul thought we were done. There's one more. There's one more. <laughs> There's one more, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's say you have uh, you have a, a kind of like three's company situation, and you need three people sleeping all in the same space. You can now put that double bed underneath Yay. your bunk bed. Yeah, show you that. Uh, hopefully, hopefully this will all work for me now. Um, is that we can take our Sims and we can show uh, that. We can have them come in here if they're if they're done chattering. <laughs> Number one. There's yeah, one. she moves over. That's nice. Yeah. And then we have the next one. There's two, and then are you still coming? Oh no, he's he, he decided he was going to use. The <laughs> oh no, hold on. There we go. It was just because she was uh, oh, clumsy, clumsy Sims. Clumsy. <laughs> she yeah. was just getting into bed, but now we can have them all. <laughs> Look at that. Like One, two, three. Outside, she was clumsy as well. <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> she just stumbled. Just... <laughs> uh, so there you go. That's coming. That's a sneak peek into uh, into the, the the next patch. Um, super excited for that. Uh, taking those bunk beds, making them, um, giving them all that additional functionality for you. That's really great to see. 
Oh, and uh, oh, have, some of you, we have, yeah. We have we one more one. thing, right? Yeah. Some of you, some of you maybe, maybe noticed <laughs> that there was this little extra molecule on our CreatiSim UI in our last stream. What may that be? We're really excited about what this is, and we will share more with you in our next live stream on May 25th. So, that's one week. May 20th. Yeah, yeah, it's Start like your calendars. Soon. Yeah. So, awesome. Yeah, this is all we have for you today. Unfortunately, we're done. So, I hope you all enjoyed the stream as much as we did. And uh, thank you all for tuning in today, and we'll see you very soon in our next Inside Max's stream. Deck deck for now. I hope you all have an awesome day. Thanks, everyone. Well, okay. What did we think about that little <clears throat> who did he there? <clears throat> um, I can tell you, I absolutely am looking forward to the patch for the bunk bed, being able to put a double bed under the, uh, the bunk beds there. I think that's going to be really cool. May 25th, I will definitely be watching for that one. Uh, they'll be talking about the uh, patch coming up on May 25th. That's going to be nice, nice, nice. So, I, I believe that's going to be, uh, yes, yes, the, the, the bunk bed. The, the bunk bed, I mean, it was really kind of cool, you know, being able to put up a bunk bed. Um, you were supposed to be able to put a desk under it, but as, as we found out in one of our bills, you had to turn the bunk, you had to turn the desk sideways to get it to work. <clears throat> Otherwise, um, whoever it was would be sticking their head up into the bunk, you know. Some people may be into that kind of thing, but there you go. All right. Um, looks like they covered an awful lot. I mean, looks like they covered an awful lot. Um, before I go back into the Sims game, while um, while they were while they were doing their thing, I guess I need to turn um, I guess I need to turn Discord back on here. Come on. There we go. Okay, I got Discord turned back on. Um, <clears throat> while they were doing their thing. I was in game trying to pull out as many of the items that we're going to look at here as possible. Um, but I wanted to check real quick: is um, is my mic audio coming through okay in Twitch at this point? I did make a few changes. Definitely, definitely want the mic to be coming through okay. I don't want to turn it up too much louder, you know what I mean? But um, if I need to make adjustments, I'm happy to bring up my filters here. Alright, looks like we've got a couple of people in the live stream. Um, what have we got? Let me move this up a bit. Okay. All right, so I've got the game set at 4.2. So if somebody can tell me, are we sounding better in Twitch? Okay, still say turn it up. All right, so um, let me, I've got the gain set at 4.2. I'm going to ease the gain up here. I just moved the gain up to 5.6. Is that any better or is it still relatively splotchy? Taking a, taking a happy check, one, two, three, four there. Okay. 
about the same. Alright. Gain. Alright, I just turned gain up, gain up to 9.5. I'm bouncing in the yellow there of my uh, mic input. I really don't want to blow everybody out. And, you know, of course, it, it gets a little noisy. It's better, it's better, she says. All right. So, let's see. Threshold. Attack seems to be good. Uh, yes, I am adjusting inside of Streamlabs OBS. I generally try to leave that alone, but let me let me pull it up and see here. I am definitely painfully familiar with um, with the settings and windows for mic input. <laughs> It will absolutely drive you crazy. I see some cord recording mic levels. Okay, so the mic level setting in Windows is at 93 right now which generally is a bit higher than I normally run it for a standard mic but um, it's running at 93 all the advanced protocols looking good stereo see show studio quality but yeah so the window settings is at 93 although you know I wonder Let's see here. Bear with me just a moment. Hope I don't too much drive everybody out there. Okay. Um, so does that seem to be any better? I readjusted the mic positioning just a bit. Uh, no, it's a compressor, um, it's a compressor mic with, um, with power that's powered off a of USB 3. Um, Angel's Waves, thank you very much, thank you very much. Huh, that's kind of weird. Emily, I wonder if your computer just doesn't like me. <laughs> it's a it's a conspiracy, I say. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> um, Discord is beeping pretty loud, though, huh?
Whoa, wait, that was weird. I just flickered. All right, are we still coming through okay? Do 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 I can see and hear you. All right. So, uh, well, call me kind of weird. Well, everybody calls me weird, but that's all right. Um, I just pulled up my stream and listened to myself there. Um, always kind of odd listening to oneself. You know what I'm saying? So, well, anyway, um, let's let's kind of uh, let's slide back over here to end game and like I say I um, I pulled up some of the stuff all right thank you Emily definitely appreciate that absolutely appreciate that um, so like check it out I pulled up some stuff in the kit and of course I've got that in game. Let me go to let me go to free cam here so we can kind of get a little bit of a look at this thing and so yeah, I mean this is I've never actually gotten excited over a kit before, you know. I realize kits are a new thing. Bust the dust was pl was fun, but it was fun for a couple of days till it really started getting on my nerves. Uh, Bust the dust really got on my last nerve, and uh, the other kit I guess wasn't too bad, but uh, yeah, you know. But I absolutely adore the new molding around the top of the wall I really have been wanting molding for the top of a wall the only thing that befuddles me though is I really wish it it, it looked more oh what's the word I'm looking for I'd love to see something like crown molding, you know, when when I was building houses and what have you and remodeling homes. Um, I, I really like crown molding and such as that. But I absolutely love those doors, man. Really do love those doors. And I just love the fountain. That, it, oops. That fountain is just as cute as it can be. And the thing I think I, it, whoops, the thing I like about it, I think I like about it, is it should be, yes, it is, it is. Wow. Okay. Well, I doubt I'd ever make it that big. But that little fountain is resizable. And I like the fence. It's good to see a different fence with a little more um, you know a little more I don't know artistic to it I guess and the the um, the elevation borders love it love it love it it's nice to have something other than just like a brown looking color you know what I'm saying but I love what they did to the floors. And I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure about just the standard flat color. You know? I mean we, we already we already kinda had that in standard paint. 
but I'm really kind of cool with the um, I'm really kind of cool with the different swatches of the um, the wall coverings. I guess I should probably get back over here so we can see. And I like this. I, I really like the stairs. I mean, I, I don't know if I even looked at the stairs over here to be honest. There they are. But I really quite like the stairs. They they they've got the the same design as the fence. So you know, I mean, if if you wanted to use something like this and you know pull the pull the fence off of it I think that would be really cool they need to they need to do something about that we need to be able to change the color of we need to be able to change the color of fences and stair rails on the fly because otherwise you've got to go uh you know you got to go obviously back into um uh, fences and try to pick out a try to pick out another color here i mean you know granted it's not um it's not rocket science but i would really like to be able to change the color of those uh swatches for like fences and and uh, stair rails and what have you uh, in game that would really be nice um, but yeah looking looking at the little room that well that was rude my uh, my mic filter just decided sorry I'm gonna apologize now if there's any weird stupid noise you know what you guys hang with me just a moment I'm gonna take this stupid thing off of here I apologize for the noise absolutely you know I love a green screen <laughs> I love me a good green screen because I can just reach over and just kind of toss something behind the green screen. Um, pop filters are notorious troublemakers. Yes. Yes. They are for sure. Um, okay. I, it, I realized, of course, it looks like I got a rabbit rabbit's foot sticking out of my ear but there you go um anyway where was i before i was so rudely interrupted by my filter and see i've always told people i don't have a filter i probably should have a filter but i don't that's what generally gets me in trouble but um so i I don't know. I, I wish there. Um, I wish they had the exterior trim for the kit. That was the same thing here. But see, we can't change that on the fly either. Ah, but we can change. We can change the colors on the opening and we can change the colors on the doors that's kind of nice and same thing goes over here we can change the colors there and I don't know if you can see in the background but we can uh, change the colors on um, on the windows of course we've always been able to do that and I like that we can change the colors on the wall screen. Now, see, my personal opinion, and, well, we all know what they say about opinions. I wish we had more of these uh, wall screens that's not necessarily a door, but this would look 
real good on a fence right you know I mean if you if you wanted to build a fence wall wall a privacy wall uh, those of us that um, oh yeah changing the color of fences yeah um, I would use something like this for like a privacy fence kind of like uh, anybody that that was raised with lattice lattice work uh, being an old country boy we um, we use lattice a lot you know um, of course when you live in the country and you live out in the woods the way I do, used to where you know your houses may be elevated up on stilts um, sometimes we would be elevated anywhere from two to six foot you know um, and you know we could we would be able to change the color of the lattice uh, did somebody sneak in on me looks like uh, Jacqueline Rochelle welcome welcome thank you angel for that heads up I can see when somebody pops in but I can't see who popped in The system doesn't tell me who has come in, only that somebody has come in. So yeah, I mean, you know, we're just we're we're of course we're like an hour early on my normal stream. Um <laughs> That's all right, Angel. I stay on the, I I stay on the slow side there, um, I, and I find the older I get, the slower I get. Of course, some people would say the older I get, the slower I already was. So, there you go. Um. So we, you know, we're we're kind of looking at the new the new kit that came out. Of course, we did. Simo stream the um, the live stream of uh, the Maxis the the Max 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 three Maxis team there. Of course, I can't talk. I mean, they they I don't know. Maybe I'm not as hard on them as everybody else. You know, maybe 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 I tend to 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 not be quite as hard on people. But I think these guys actually work their butts off, you know, I mean, yeah, okay, there are millions of people that play Sims, and some of the, um, man, some of the, some of the artwork and detail and some of the builds I've seen are just absolutely outrageously phenomenal, right, um, but you know, if, if 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 you come right down to it, these guys these guys work their butts off on this stuff. Um, pardon me. I looked into I, I looked into custom content, and I looked into modding, and you know, custom content is really cool. Um, being able to do mods, man. My if I had a hat. My hat would be off to custom content creators and people that do mods. I, yeah, well, number one, if anybody could picture me with hand trimmers trying to create mods or custom content. <laughs> oh, man. That, 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 that would not be, um, that, that would not be good. Let's put it that way. We'll, 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 we'll leave it at that. So let's see, we are 13 minutes past the hour. Um, our normal stream is at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, we are at 2.13 p.m. Central Standard Time right now. I don't know where all of you guys are, but I definitely appreciate you being there. So 
what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Um, my crazy old self needs to get up and stretch my legs for a bit. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and break the stream right here. So when we come back in at 3 p.m. Central Time, um, we can just kind of move... Um, Practice that self-care. <laughs> right. Um, that, you know, that way when we come back in at 3 p.m., well, we can just kind of slide right on in what, to what our project is for this week. And um, if you want to know what our project is for this week, you're going to have to mosey over to my Discord or my The Spastic Simmer uh, over on Facebook. I... You know, the, the guys that really are on my Discord, bless their heart, uh, Discord. Um, I'm always blowing up Discord with news, updates, things we've got going on, you know. Um, so, uh, Angel, Emily, Cindy, Mystic, and the rest of you guys that I did not see come in while we were doing this new new kit viewpoint here uh thank you very much for coming in and i hope to see you back here at 3 p.m central for the continuation of our glass house uh it's a little farmhouse a little ranch house that i found on the internet so far it's going really cool if you want to check out our youtube um, of course i haven't uploaded it from last week because i'm gonna wait and do a speed build all at the same time but I got pictures. And if you want to watch the stream from yesterday on Twitch, I forget those things are there. Well, they don't call me the spastic simmer for nothing. What the hell were we talking about? Oh, that's right. I'll see y'all right back here. Where the hell's the button? There it is. I'll see y'all back here at 3 p.m. Central Time. Same or, well, different bat time, different bat channel boy am i showing my age <laughs> i'll talk to you then hope you come back how is it y'all come back now you hear <laughs>